Saving a little bit of money on your motherboard can actually end up being really expensive or moderately expensive depending upon your point of view. A topic that gets talked about, asked about, tweeted at us, left in YouTube comments, live streams, the Tech Deals Discord. What motherboard should I buy? How much should I buy? I'm buying this CPU and this graphics card. What motherboard do I buy? There are, would you not agree that there are a ridiculous number of motherboards out there? Yes. There's sometimes from one manufacturer and one chipset, there will be 15 plus models of a B460 or or B450 or whatever mm -hmm. from one company and one chipset. It is Correct. so confusing. And so if our viewers are confused, it's understandable. Correct. Because if you haven't studied it, if you don't watch this all the time, if you haven't used 57 different motherboards, if you know, if you if you build a machine every 3 to 5 years, you touch a motherboard maybe what three times a decade. Yep. <laughs> we touch a motherboard three times a month. So that's why people ask us. Correct. Okay. We recently built a system uh, just at the beginning of January 2021 mm. with an i3 10100, the basic entry level i3, four core, eight thread, $650 build, and we put a $115. B460 motherboard in it. And many people said to us during the live stream, why? That's expensive. You could go with a cheaper board and put a better video card or put more RAM or put something else in. Or for just a few dollars more, you could have a Z board. In, and that's better because you can overclock your RAM then. Well, everybody's entitled to their opinion. They are. But I want to explain why I did what I did. And I'm going to do it by showing you guys an example of the cheaper B460 motherboard. And this is an MSI Pro B460M-A Pro. Pro is in that name twice. They, they they figured if they put Pro twice, it'd be a better board. It's Pro Pro. It, yeah, that bit's poo poo is what to it is. To go with Ultra. No, it's terrible. TI, yeah. Super Duper Mega. This motherboard is as cheap as it gets. Two RAM slots, uh, one M.2 slot, one X16 slot, zero cooling terrible power delivery. Uh, MSI? No fixed IO shield. No ports. No, no, look at that. no type C. This, this board, MSI. I love you guys. This board's garbage. Nobody should buy this. Uh, this board is for OEMs and system builders to put together the cheapest possible machine they can because $5 times 10,000 machines is a lot of money to a company. Mm. But no individual should build their own machine using this. This is ridiculous for $75. I used this motherboard for 115. Now, I realize that 75 to 115 is a $40 price jump. Correct. But if you've got $650 to build a system, saving that $40 takes your $650 build and it makes a $610 crappy machine. Yes. That has no upgrade potential, that has very few features, very few ports, no expandability, garbage power delivery. It will run hot. It has no expansion. It's a it's a it's a lousy way to save forty dollars because on this board, four RAM slots, two X16 slots, so you can add a second card. It's got two M.2 slots, one of which is covered by a heatsink. Correct. Five times the power delivery that does have cooling attached to it. We have a fixed I/O shield with two point five gig LAN, Realtek ALC twelve hundred audio, not that. 800 junk, full set of audio connectors, including SPDIF, USB, both type C and type A, 3.2 ports. The, the, what you get for the, for the $40 is like everything. I mean, it is such, the motherboard is the one part of your system that when you upgrade, you're basically building a new computer. Correct. Except maybe for the case in power supply, you know, by the time you replace your motherboard, DDR5 will be out and other stuff will be out. It's just a whole new machine. So by getting a decent board, here's the kicker. While it is a B board and it's not overclockable, in the future, if you manage to find an i7-10700 or 10700K 8-core 16-thread chip used, maybe for 200 bucks. You can drop that into this, and I promise you that this $115 board absolutely has the power delivery to run it at its top all-core turbo speed with sufficient cooling, mm -hmm. 
you you can't overclock it, but a 40 but an i7 10700K will do 4.7 gigahertz on all eight core 16 threads on this. It will not on on this. The power delivery is just not good enough. Nope. Now, inevitably, so don't go down. Buy a decent board because you get good features, good expansion, good power delivery. You have yourself some options. This is less than 10% of the price. The, the $40 step, what is that? Seven, six percent of the computer's price to go from garbage to, to fully, fully featured. Fully functional. <laughs> That's funny. Now, what if you go to the Z board? Will you just spend a few dollars more? Okay. Okay, you do. The least expensive Z board at the moment is this one right here. This is a Z490 Micro ATX motherboard. Now, this is also not poorly featured. We've got some heat sinks, decent power delivery. We've got, uh, let's see, one, two M.2 slots, two X16 slots, two. It does not have a fixed IO shield, but it at least does have type C. See, it doesn't have the full audio though. It doesn't have the full audio. And it doesn't have spit if it doesn't have 2.5 gig LAN. And it's more expensive. It is another $35. $35. All this really lets you do is run your XMP RAM. Intel doesn't care as much as AMD does. 2666 or 2933 and if you upgrade this board to an i7 in the future, you can run at 2933. 3200 doesn't make a difference over 2933. And if you think it does, you are, you are spec chasing, not reality chasing. I could tell you that doesn't make any difference. And this board for $150, this board has, I believe it's got it's got ALC twelve twenty, but it only has uh, one gig one gigabit Ethernet, which is fine for a lot of people. The other one has two. If you want something with a bit more features, you really have to go up in price. Now, that's still pretty cheap. That's um. Here you go. One hundred and seventy bucks. That is a substantial upgrade over the B four sixty we used. But you're not putting an i three on that. That's ridiculous. You're not putting an i3 on this. Nicer board in all respects, but you're not putting an i3 on this because that'd be dumb. I got the motherboard right. Yeah, you did. With this build. And so for everybody watching now, I understand that many of you are going, I'm not building an i3. I hear you. Are you building an i5-10400? I would still go with this B460 mortar for 115. Four cores, six cores, lock chip, same difference, nothing really changed. Are you going with an i7-10700? Then go with the Z-board. Even if you're going what with the non-K chip. What about a 10600? Well, that's an i5. That's stupid. Nobody should buy those. Well, I know that. Uh, nobody should buy those. If you do, you failed math class. Because here's the problem. The i7-10600K is so close to the price of the i7. Correct. You're, you're spending $250 plus to get six cores. If you were gonna do that, you should have done that years ago. We're way oh, past yeah. the point with that price. Six cores should be 150. Right now, you can buy an i5-10400, six core, 12 thread, four gigahertz chip for $159. If you're the kind of person who goes, but, but, but I need clock speed, I need performance, I want maximum everything, but you shouldn't be on an i5. Those days are over. Correct. It's, it's because then you need better cooling and then you need overclockability and then you need the Z board. Now you're at a $200 motherboard and now it's dumb to put anything less than an i7 on that. Correct. The i5K chips are stupid. Um, I don't have a problem with i7 and i9K chips. No, I know. But the if you're going with i5, you are a value conscience builder. And at 159 for a six core, 12 thread, Coffee Lake refresh, four gigahertz, all core turbo chip, $115 motherboard. You put a $20 cooler on it, which is all it needs. You've got yourself a rocking value build. You do. Anything more than that is dumb. Unless you're going Z board, better cooling, premium build, etc. So, I want everybody watching to hear this really carefully. 
Motherboards aren't about performance, they're about features. The cheapest Z board you can buy is cheap for a reason. It's been stripped. It has. No fixed IO shield. I mean, you can, but yeah, you only put it in technically once, but you've seen the trouble of trying to line up the ports with the IO shield and how easy it is to cut yourself on them. They're cheap yes. metal and, mm -hmm. and the whole thing just looks and feels cheap. If Correct. they're so cheap as to not just build the IO shield into it, what other corners have they cut? A lot. I'm not buying any more boards without a fixed IO shield. Period. Dot the end. Once you've gone fixed IO shield, you don't go back. Nah, no bueno on that. So, I am of the opinion that there's a sweet spot for each generation, each board, each. There's a price point that makes sense. You can deviate plus or minus ten or twenty dollars, but because you, you might pick Gigabyte versus MSI. I mean, I chose at the end of the day this MSI B460M mortar and that is absolutely fine but somebody else may very well have said but I, I don't want that I want gigabyte that is absolutely fine okay so let me introduce you to to no no well they don't really have a good priced one at the moment they don't yeah, see, the, it doesn't have fixed IO shield. No. There, they, Gigabyte actually does have a B460 Aorus micro ATX board that costs less, but it's not in stock at the moment. Uh, it's about 120 bucks. It's got a fixed IO shield. It's got LC1220 audio, well, et that's cetera. that's 120 bucks. Yeah, but that's not it. I know it's not. You want the Aorus board. Correct. Because it's got certain features that's missing. Correct. This doesn't even have a heat sink over the M.2 slot. Correct. So, motherboards are frustrating. Can you imagine if you had to go out and buy a motherboard <laughs> with no guidance and all you did was sort through this ridiculous list? Yeah. I mean, if we go over to Asus for the sake of discussion, although their boards tend to, oh my goodness. I would cheat. I would go to your new egg nows and look through what, what you build and I would get that. Look at this awful board for $110. That's what I would do. You would? Mm. Does it have an eye shield on it? So what tech lists in the video it's description not. of the live streams for the new egg now? Because he puts builds in there. That's what we recommend. So if you're looking for an i7-10700 or an i9-10850K or a 5900X build, go and type those in over on tech deals and see what pops up with new egg now. Because whatever that list is, that's what we recommend. I mean, custom PCs are? Custom. I like fixed IO shields. Anybody watching who doesn't understand why probably hasn't used one, but they are truly glorious. Buy a nice motherboard and you won't regret it. But don't overspend. Don't buy a motherboard that costs more than your CPU because that's kind of silly. I will be interested to see everybody's comments down in the comment section below. If you strongly disagree with me, please leave a comment. It improves engagement.